We are starting our family vacation summer of 2022. We were supposed to go to Callaway Park today, but there is a heat advisory. So instead, we are checking out the Calgary TELUS Science Center. Join us as we explore some of the more popular aspects of the Science Center in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, including the temporary Luminarium and Quantum Sandbox exhibits. Stay tuned for more. We hit up the Science Center on a super hot day in late July, and our cousins joined us, surprising our kids. I hadn't seen them since before the pandemic, so it was lovely to have them along. We started our tour by checking out the Earth and Sky Permanent Exhibit, as our passes to the Luminarium weren't until later in the day. We really wanted to catch the last Planetarium Dome movie of the day, but our Luminarium tickets were scheduled for the same time as the movie. So the awesome staff at the Science Center let us enter the Luminarium early, thanks to Jessica. The Luminarium is a traveling exhibit built out of PVC fabric as thin as a fingernail. It is a series of inflated domes with colorful filtered light, hand-stitched together into a giant maze. The premise is that you are walking through a life-size kaleidoscope. It was hot that day, as I mentioned, around 27 to 30 degrees in Calgary, but inside the Luminarium it felt like 40. Luckily there were some small vents every now and then built into the walls to help offer a little relief. Abby found a cool air vent. <laughs> I'm in some sort of science fiction spaceship or alien caves. hot in here. It's like 30 degrees outside today and this place is catching all of the heat and we're cooking hot and we can't find the exit. Luckily there were plenty of Science Center staff available to direct us out before we melted completely. After that, the kids ran off some steam in the Brainasium Outdoor Playground. Fulcrum. 
We made it on time to watch the Volcano Movie on the Science Center's giant planetarium-sized screen. I had really, really wanted to check out the Quantum Sandbox exhibit, a touch and motion sensitive interactive digital display. There are several other permanent galleries worth exploring. The Creative Kids Museum, the Open Studio, Being Human, and more. We touched on a couple of them, but ultimately we ran out of day. We will have to go back another time to explore the rest. to drink from a toilet. Delicious. I feel like the best way to describe the store is delightfully kooky. A stop at the gift shop in any museum is a must, but this one in particular has some great stuff. We loved our day at the TELUS Spark Science Center, and I wish we could have explored it all. I guess that just means we'll have to go back another time. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by clicking that thumbs up button, 
sharing the video link on your social media, and leaving a comment. What was your favorite gallery or exhibit? To all my returning viewers, welcome back and thanks for watching. And to anyone new, welcome and hello. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and click the bell button too, so you can catch any new videos I upload. Happy travels everyone! Thank you.